Kim said it was that patient that likes to be treated. Yeah. Didn't really have an issue. Yeah. It's actually touching that. I want to know what energy you're picking up on in here. Mm -hmm. If, if you had something for one of the doctors, touch any device, please. If you were in fact in love with. Oh my God. Oh. That's it. So I would. Yeah. The the eye that. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. You good? Oh my God. Oh. Now it's yours. So guys, now we're at the Wildwood Sanitarium and Zach and Brooke are going to show us around. So let's go and discover this. Hey, okay, so to start off our tour here, uh, we, I usually talk about the, doc the main doctors here of when it opened up as a uh, holistic uh, osteopathic hospital. You hospital. got Dr. Uh, Perry, here, uh, Perry here and Henderson here, John Henderson and Carol Perry. And here's John Henderson with a uh, cadaver and some nurses when he was in college, actually. And here's an old picture of when it opened up as a tuberculosis hospital. So it started out as an osteopathic hospital in 1906. Mm -hmm. Then in, the 19, in 1920, it opened up as a tuberculosis hospital and stayed as that until eventually closed down and got re renovated into apartments. And you'll see that when we go into other floors, on how they changed it into apartment buildings. They changed it into three apartment buildings oh. eventually after it being a tuberculosis hospital. And that was around like the 40s, right? Mid 40s, 50s? When they did the hospital, when they turned it into apartments? 70s. 70s. In the 70s, oh, yeah. Sorry, I got it wrong. But uh, yeah, in the 70s. They used to do that a lot in the 70s, take all the houses and separate it. Yeah, they, they, this place went through quite a few different phases. <laughs> oh. and, uh, and then after being apartments, there was just a family that lived in the whole place for a while, right? A few of them, and yeah, it's it's gone through quite a few. And this is a picture here of uh, six years ago when uh, uh, Brooke and her, her mother bought this place. Well, her mom originally bought it six years ago. We bought it from her mom last year, Lori. We bought it, it me, now me and my wife both there, broke, we own it. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Like cool. all these signatures you see on the wall here, mm -hmm. and everything, all the different groups have been here from pretty much everywhere at this point. We've had people pretty much all around the world, really. Even. Yeah. We've had people all from Canada, from the UK, all over the US. Wow. There's all kinds of notable names like Nick Groff has been here and he's done his show, Paranormal Lockdown. and. He came here and did his new show too recently for uh, Death Walker. Hmm, okay. And uh, I, I will show you the stuff on like Paranormal Lockdowns so in this cool. room here. Cool. There's a little calendar there. It's a little show too. There's some more signatures and stuff on the wall. Everything. All over the place. All and tonight we will we'll have Exploring Harley. Yeah, so more on the Paranormal Lockdown. Here's a picture of uh, Nick Roth there, Lori, and then. Brooke and Katrina when they shot that and here is a mirror that fell in the episode of that. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, yeah. and it broke. Yeah. yeah, we have it set up here. We have this place kind of set up as a museum almost even. We have all these like old things and then we have that showing up that talk about that. We have all these old artifacts, old things all over the, the building you'll see and we have some things that are donated to us, some things we bought. Some things are kind of just here, even. Uh. <laughs> there's, there's, remnants, there's remnants of, um, so they did electric battery bath. Therapy. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. There's remnants of that in the basement. Even. Oh. And then there's remnants of like a community type of stuff. We'll get to that later though. All right. So here's some old pictures of what the building looked like in the past. And here's a really cool pamphlet of some information of when I was a sanitarian. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Health without drugs. Yeah, it's definitely one of the most notable like pieces of paperwork we have 
for this place for sure. Wow, look at that. They were advertising. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Torture machine. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that was the iridescent light bath that they had on the second floor. They, yeah. Looks like a tanning bed. Yeah. <laughs> like, looks like kind, a tanning bed. I think that's bed. the kind of idea they were almost going for. Because they believed, well, they believed in natural, they, no drugs. They yeah. They like helped, helped without drugs. They believed in natural ways of healing. And even like, I'm a, I'm third floor there. So the doctors are also very religious too, the two main doctors. They believe that keeping the sicker patients on the top floor, they're closer to God. To God, yeah. That's what they believed, yeah. Oh. It was kind of like a like a privately owned kind of hospital. It was small, obviously smaller scale, not huge oh. hospital, obviously. Look at that. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. A cure guaranteed or no pay. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Wow. So remember how I was talking about how this place got renovated in apartments in the seventies? Yeah. So. There's a little boy spirit that is known to be here in this place a lot. His name is Tommy. He actually lived here in the 70s when it was apartments, and he drowned in the river down the street. Oh. We dedicate this room to him. Oh. We've got evidence of him throughout the entire building, though. But we dedicate this room to him. Wow. Um, he's a very playful spirit. These little tricks. He's a, he's a kid. He's yeah. A kid spirit. He's very tricky. He's... He's a very active spirit though, right here though, I'll tell you that though, he comes through quite often. Cool. Well, I think, I hope that you're gonna come through tonight, Tommy. Yeah. And? And he, and he likes it here too, like we talked to him about, we talked to all the spirits about it too, they, they, they enjoy being here, they, they, they don't feel like... It, it, I, I have a, a medium. At least. They don't feel like they don't want to be here, yeah. like they love it here, they want, this is their place. A medium told me that spirits will hang out at the place they felt more good where they felt the best for them it, it's their heaven right, right so they will go back to the places that they loved yeah, so right. so they yeah. can be in a house that they never lived in but yeah. they, they went there good once tied to it. exactly so <laughs> that makes sense. cool all right so i like to talk about this though so we just got oh. this one in connecticut the warrens per pericon and the one over uh, YouTube group overnight, they stayed overnight with the Annabelle doll and all like the conjuring hey, in the Warren Museum. And they had 666 Raggedy Ann dolls. Got Elton and Corey's and they, signature. Uh, after that night they stayed, then they sold them off for charity and we bought one of them. Wow. Yeah. And we put it in here. So that Raggedy so Ann doll, guys, in was in the Warren Museum. Yeah. And now it's here. And this is the seance room. Yeah, yeah tonight oh. I'm gonna try my pendulum here. I, oh, yeah. I'm really, uh, I, I found a, I don't know, a, a, a gift or something. Yeah. I'm good with a pendulum. You gonna move? Uh, uh, this one? Yeah, yeah, this one is awesome. This, one, the, this one's actually really neat because a lot happens with this. Like, yeah. A lot, as you can see. So there's some patterns here on the wall here. So this guy here, Jeremy, he used to come here a lot with his brother um, to investigate. And his brother still comes around. His brother's actually here last night. Oh. But sadly, he, he passed away. Oh. He didn't pass away here though, Jeremy, but he's known to come back here. Well, you said places like how you were just saying a minute ago, spirits come where they enjoy. Exactly. They enjoy being here. here. So he comes yeah, back here. To come through. Like, see, as you see, like, we're like mom and sitting here, and that's a Mother's Day card, actually, which is mom. So like, this is like a similar kind of handwriting. Wow. Yeah, and he's actually came through the spirit box and all kinds of different things. Look at that, with guy. intelligent answers. So. Wow. So tonight. Typically, he sticks around his brother, though. I watches over his brother and his family and everything. But he's still known to come around. Like, a bunch of groups have gotten him. Here's a, actually a picture. His mom was at his gravestone and asked for a sign from him. And looked up and seen that. Wow. Cool, That's so nice. Right? Oh, cool so sweet. Oh, wow. <gasps> painted of this place, too. Isn't that wow. really neat? We have a shadow box there because we just don't want anyone messing that one you up. No, it's too beautiful. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. That's what we thought. That's right. We have other spirit boards over here, like we do boards that we, people can use. We have, we have one from uh, the Gettysburg Battlefield Patch. Oh. Uh, and everything's over there. Cool. Signed by a bunch of paranormal people and everything. It's really neat. Look at that, guys. Little. Let's go in here first. Typically, I, I go upstairs, then right back around here, but. Gettysburg Battlefield Patch. Yeah, cool. yeah, I'm going uh, this year. 
Yeah, and a bunch of people signed it and everything. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going in July. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we're going back there. So. We'll oh, think, cool. I think about yeah when we go. Yeah. This is yeah. This is our doll room. Um, not all the dolls in here are haunted. I'll tell you, they don't all have attachments to them. Some of them do, though. Well, some of them give me facial recognition, and some of them don't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All, see, uh, there is a good amount in here that are almost just here for toys for the spirits. They yeah. enjoy them. And actually, Nick Ross' episode of Paranormal Act, he got an EVP. Because what they did is they took out all the, the dolls in here. They took out all the, the toys out of they got EVP saying bring back the toys. Which is pretty cool. I like to tell people about that. It's oh cool. my god, okay. It's, um, it's a thing though. We, uh, we, we get dolls donated to us and given to us and we got them ourselves and we put them all in here and pretty much how it goes. Wow, cool. And, well Lori oh. Lori uh, Brooks mom, uh, she she liked dolls. She put a, a good amount herself in here too because she had a whole collection herself. So uh, like probably, I'd probably say like probably almost a quarter of them are probably Lori's. Wow! Time. Look at that, guys. We got them. I'm not sure how many that she had exactly to begin with. Duh. But yeah, we just got this one too from Mom. Um, this is really cool. This. It's actually a music box too. Oh so, wow! So if you turn this, what you do is you turn this. It's locked. So. <sighs> Pretty cool, man. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, and that stop you just kind of put that open. That one's weird. That one's strange because that one will, gets motion sensor. Yeah. But it'll go off like random time, just weird. Like it'll just you can be like over here, it'll go off. You can be right there, it'll go off. Like it, it just goes off when it wants a lot. Yeah. It definitely has some weird energy to it. I it doesn't just look creepy. It definitely has some weird energy going on. I it. think so, that when my friends came yeah. Tara with Tommy Tombstone I think it went off they were like over there and it went off yeah that's what I mean it's weird like it kind of just goes off yeah or, or maybe the spirits honestly just touch it that's that could be a thing too yeah could just touch it and everything it might not even I, I I do sense something weird about it though I think there is something weird with it I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's not one of the spirits are just that were already here just got took a liking to it. Mm. I think that's kind of maybe yeah. that what that's what happened. I think I think they just enjoy it a lot and they're like, oh this is a neat one like and they're just love it. It's like one of their favorite toys, I think. That's, exactly. I think, I think that's what really happened. Or it knows like, it creeps people out, so yeah. they trigger it like that too, that could be a thing too. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. But yeah I know this one this one here or these two have energy to it as well. There's a few other different ones too like this one here over here. I know for a fact to uh, sitting over there. Oh, the one. I know that one. There's. She looks creepy. I'm sorry, but you look creepy. <laughs> so we got this cool little painting too wow. that's donated to us by Shannon Whittaker. There, as you see, it's beautiful. Ain't Magnificent. It? She, yeah. Wow. She painted that and donated to us. It's and amazing. look at that, guys, with a 3D. Oh yeah. Can, wow. Awesome. Yeah, and then we got this, uh, so we got a clean 1920s doctor can here. This is what they would have brought on a house call. It's really cool to look at. There you go. That's so cool. Nice x-ray machine here. Does that help us? Hmm. Oh, it's turned upside down. Someone, someone changed it around. Actually, actually, that's, I think that's actually the spine now. Yeah, it's the spine. Yeah. You see it was the, the other one. The no, sacrum? Well, well, someone changed it out. Yeah. Before, they like, I think on the other side. Or no, there was another one that was a pelvis. I'm not sure. I got the near you. We exactly right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had two of them. But yeah, that's kind of just for show. Like, that's just really adds to, like, the doctor's office thing. That's not, like, actually from... From a, a patient, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's just one of those things we added to add to the place. Cool. Um, so I, uh, so here's um, learn some of the electric battery bats. Um, so this is remnants of one of those hubs they had. We, as you can see, right up yeah. there. And here's the console. There's some parts missing, so as you can see, but this is the console they used for that. Oh my God. Yeah, pretty neat. So imagine all the energy. 
Yeah. And then this here, this little lip here, was where they had a community bath, and this was how cold in the water. And we had this bath up here, something. Oh. Pictures here, the wall here. The, you know, one of that. Oh, and yeah. On the second floor. Poor child. Oh. <laughs> angry. <laughs> turn of body makes noise. I'm so angry. The <laughs> <laughs> embalming table. Yeah. So this was actually a news like just like five ish years ago, few years ago, and now. Uh, uh, funeral home in Hamburg, apparently, and it's donated to us. Wow. Pretty cool, man. I'm going to do some Estes down here. I know yeah, some people did. Yeah. Love, love to do that. Yeah, my, my friend Josh, when he came with Tara and Paige, they did an Estes on the, on the table, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people get a lot of good things from that, too. And we're back. There's some articles about us restoring the place, local ones. Wow. We'll check out. That's awesome to have, like, papers and and you know, media's helping. Oh yeah, the community supports us really well around here. Wow, so like a, that's very, nice. Yeah, yeah, and we so we have this we got coffee microwave and working an oven and everything for people and stuff. We got cool. a fridge over here full of drinks and water and all kinds of stuff and sodas and we got water down here and cool. Thank you so much. I use the old style fridge just so to <gasps> Oh, yeah, and then my this old God. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And then this picture, we actually just got this one recently, too. That's an older picture of the place. Wow. Like, it's the old car and everything. Yeah, the old Model T. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you so much. That yeah, was sure. a yeah. great tour and can't Definitely. wait to investigate this place. Uh, like the pictures of the graveyard. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the graveyard too. So that's Perry's. Um yeah, and Henderson we don't have a picture here of Henderson's but yeah Henderson's very Okay. Over oh Henderson, yeah I'll go see Henderson. Henderson. Perry's this is down Perry from yeah. uh yeah Hensdale. All right. right. Hensdale. Near Hensdale I mean <laughs> if I thought <laughs> if I thought <laughs> well thank you so much Brooke and Zach yeah, for sure. and can't wait for the guys to be here and investigate this place. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, now I'm at I'm at the cemetery where uh, Dr. Henderson is buried because Dr. I don't remember his name, sorry. He's buried at Hinsdale. So this is Dr. Henderson. And unfortunately, he's right there by the tree. Henry Henderson. So, so that's his daughter. She's still alive. His wife, Emma. And that's another family, I think. And no, I think it's the same family. So no, I think that's his wife. I don't <laughs> really know. So this is Dr. Ander Dr. Anderson's grave, guys. So, yeah. Uh. Turn this slightly different. Yeah, of course, whatever you need to. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. No way. Now it's We're yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa! Honest to God, what is going on what? here? All of them? This one, and that, that one went off? No way. No way. Can you step away from that, please? I don't like that sound. What was that? Did That's my phone. Up? Yeah, I'm over. I just put my phone. Uh... I heard a thud over here, by the way. Yeah, I just opened the spirit talker. I don't know that I love skiing down this hallway, but that's okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my oh, gosh. Okay, why? Oh my god, Edie's going up too. I want you to go turn off your volume, Jeff. Okay, thanks. So I just, I, it accidentally shut off. Oh to, my gosh. Uh, you're gonna have to re up your volume. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, that's the ringer. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Who is here with us right now? Scarlet! Scarlet. No. Oh. Scarlet, were you a patient here? Move away from that device if you were a patient. Can you move from the temperature gauge, please? Just move away. Slightly. Thank you. Wow. I will introduce myself. My name is Jeff. I'm Kim. I am Lamar. And we are Canadians, if you have noticed by our accent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you like Canadians? Move away from that if you like Canadians. Okay, I guess she doesn't like So if you don't like Canadians, can you move away, please? <gasps> oh, got to go. Oh, oh no way! No I way! Just confirm that whole thing. It's a. You've got to go. It's the second time in. Like, the third word. <laughs> it's like you have to go, to go again. Since you're so responsive to everything, and you're able to actually use Spirit Talker. Can you tell us why we have to go? Tell us why. Why do we have to go? There are too much people in the doctor's no. office. Night. <laughs> it's the night time. There would be. The doctor's office is closed. <gasps> oh my god. What is that noise? I have not <gasps> heard that do that before. Is that what you mean? It's the night that the doctor's office is closed? So we have to go? I think so. Bro, I think so, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Did someone just top on that? I don't know. Oh. <gasps> right beside you, Kim. Yeah. The EDI. The DMF on the EDI. It what? never went off. It just went to blue. Like, yeah, the blue lights. They, the blue lights? Yeah. The blue lights usually are indicative of pressure. No, no, EMF. The, the yellow flashing one is the pressure. You have the red and the blue on the top, that's the temperature. On the bottom one, the, the blue one These on the ones. top. Yeah, those are the EMF. On the yes. bottom one, it's a geophone. Okay. And it's the blue one. It never happened. I never saw that online. Okay, so the blue one happened like yep. two minutes ago. Yep. And then I did it again. Whoa. Wow, well, okay, I am I'm mind blown with that one. Me too. <laughs> Twice you've got to go. Earlier, um, Chelsea and Eva and I were up here and we were taking photos and I was wearing that lab coat and Machete. 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 And I was just gonna say, like, were, are you angry that we were up here and we were doing that? We we're moving things around up here. If you're angry, move away from that right now. Oh! oh. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, you don't have to be angry. We're, we're just here to investigate. We're just here to try to know you better. Oh my God. Whoa. Yeah. And I'm sweating big time. Look. I, I, have, I have more questions then. Can you move away, please? My friend has another question. I'm just gonna press. Oh. Temperature wow. zero. I'm just gonna like recalibrate that because that was going wild. Um, wood. Okay. Wild wood. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so my question is why are you angry? Are you a doctor? Are you a nurse? Are you Dr. Perry? 
Dr. Anderson. Were you a patient? Were you a nurse? If you were one of those, light up one of these things like you just did. I've put a black stick on the bed. It's called a flashlight. It's kind of like a portable lantern, but it's more compact. If you come to it and you tap on it, it will light up like that. All right? So now, can you take your energy, can you use your energy and try to turn it off, please? Thank you. Whoa. Thank you. All right, I'll come back. So if you're one of those <laughs> things, can you do that again? Hit one of the things to, to make them go off? If you were a, a nurse or a doctor, can you turn back on the flashlight, please? Just put all your energy into it. And don't worry, we have batteries, we have electronics. You can use all the energy from the electronics. You cannot use the energy from us, though. Do you think I'm real? <gasps> oh my yeah. god! Are you oh. ever real? Well, you, was, you were once real. Now you're... You're a spirit, and we want to know. How is it? We we totally think you're real. You, we feel it in this place. We know you're here. We just want to confirm your presence. Like nowadays, we can film to the whole world. If you're really here, light up that red one right there. Yeah, the other one right here. Oh <gasps> no! There he goes for the one. That, uh, Again. And the geophone. Nobody was moving, the geophone went off. And now this one's going. We just came in contact with, with them. Wow. That, that second for But me. I would like to know, is it Dr. Perry or Dr. Anderson? <gasps> Thank you. So if if you are Dr. Anderson, I went to see your grave this afternoon. Can you light up the, the torch again, please? If it's Dr. Anderson. You know, I told you that would be at, at your clinic, Dr. Anderson. Which one is that? The, is that the millimeter? Yeah, it's the temperature on the millimeter. Or is it Dr. Perry? Unfortunately, I didn't have a, ten, a chance to go see your grave at Hinsdale. That just went off, yeah. Yeah. Is it you, Dr. Perry? You come in your office. Dr. Perry, if that's you, can you move away from that, please? Dr. Perry, if it's you. Thank you, sir. Wow. Wow. What are you thinking? How are you feeling right now? Oh my god, this is so wild. <laughs> I I can't remember a time when I had so many devices going off around me at the same time. Harriet. Um, so that's really cool. But like I'm and kind of astounded that we're getting so many answers so quickly. And like the thought just kind of keeps coming through my head. Like, thank you for the flashlight. We're not talking to a doctor. <gasps> oh, interesting. I know, like, cause we've been getting like responses, like really good responses, but there's something that's telling me like, this isn't a doctor. And mm. I don't even know if it's a patient. That is interesting, okay. Do you come from the graveyard? I know that Zach told me that sometimes people that are buried in the graveyard come and visit. So are you somebody that was buried in the graveyard? What's that? What's that? Someone's walking up the stairs. Uh, probably Angela. It is. Yeah. Um, <gasps> you know, the stairs. Oh. Yeah, enough again. Like, I, I know this is like a really, really wild accusation, but I thought about it a few times and I tried to change the answer that kept popping up into my head. But for some reason, it's somebody who didn't have anything wrong with them, but wanted to continuously come back for treatment. 
whether they had like a bad situation at home and they just wanted to be here or they had like an infatuation with like a doctor here i just get that really like weird feeling that somebody wanted to be here really? and there was nothing really wrong with that much that's so interesting okay i know if if that's true if you can please hiding in the dark <gasps> oh okay if that's true, I'm going to give you a specific device to hit. Can you touch this one or give it pressure? Only this one, okay? So, if that is true, what Kim is saying, touch this one, not that one. Okay, this one, please. Did you not really have anything wrong with you? You just wanted to keep coming back here because of a situation in your life? You were not happy, so you were coming here because you felt... I don't know, like somebody was taking care of you mm, maybe. for the first time? I don't know. <laughs> it's the quietest it's been. <laughs> if, you are, if you were patient, can you turn off? Not the right country. <laughs> can you turn on the black stick that is called a torch? on the bed if you were, in fact, a patient here. Can you move away for the temperature gauge, please? Please, move away and go for the black stick. Wonderful. Wonderful. What about the device I told you about? Can you please touch that one? If you were a patient here that just like to be taken care of, touch that black device. It will not hurt you. Just touch it right there. Please. Show the world that you're here. That, that it's you. Is there anybody else up here? No. No, nope, just those four. So nobody else heard that moan? I did. Me? You heard, you heard a moan? Right? It was like yeah. a boom. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Are you the lady? That, oh, flashlight turned on. If you are the the the, the person that moaned, can I'm having fun. Oh, we're having fun as well. Can you turn on the flashlight and keep it on, please? If you are the person that did that moan, keep it on, please. Put all the energy that you can. The rampart. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I see the light on the wall. Did you just come in or out of the room? In, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's the red one, right? Mommy. Or is that the millimeter? Mommy! So I'm running That's the millimeter. I'm running mine as well. Okay, so they finally touched the millimeter. So, so it's like a child? Are you looking for your mom? No, I actually think it's backing up what Kim said. So Kim said it was that patient that likes to be treated. Yeah. Didn't really have an issue. Yeah. It's actually touching that after he told it to, if it was true. So I, I think Kim is right. So if you are that patient that needed attention, can you go for that black stick, please? Go for that black stick on the bed. Light it up, please. Oh. Got one in the doorway. Lover. Oh! Help me. Oh. Oh. Lover. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if if you had something for one of the doctors, touch any device, please. If you were in fact in love with. Oh my oh. God. That's it. Whoa. That's it. That's it. That's it. Wow. Thank you. Thank That's you so it. much for telling your truth. We really appreciate that, and I know that was probably hard for you to do. That's it. I, I, man, look. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh my god. I got <laughs> some. I, 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 when I said that and went off, I just, it just opened up. Wow. Okay, so when you were in love with one of the doctors, was it? Can you answer, answer what by touching a device? Was it Doctor Anderson?
Was it Dr. Perry? Do you not want to say who it was? Can you touch a device to tell us that you don't want to tell us who it was? I'm guilty. I'm guilty. What? Oh and my. The lights turned on at the same time. Oh, and, oh my <laughs> god. Wow. As soon as you said that, which one is it? That one? So oh, I would. Oh, the light just went on. Yeah. Oh my. The, 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 the EMF on the, the eye, I saw it. I saw it. What's that? Francis. How did that go? I want to know what energy you're picking up on in here. It's no, like. <laughs> it's like. I mean, like. I mean, like, specific. Because we, we are getting crazy activity, and I want you to tell me. It's like a press Who melee. <laughs> do you think it may be if it's not a doctor? Okay, yeah, come in. Yeah, come Senses. in. Come join us. Senses. Okay, no. Did did you come to to your senses when you realized that Doctor Perry? Don't say anything. I want her to. Okay. I want her to like pick up on something. Okay. Her. See what she gets. Pressure, guys. I just came out of a meditative state. I know, and we need to get to that. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. That's pressure's me. Small. You didn't give some time there, friends. No time. No time. Just time do time. it. Just go. <laughs> so, so what do you think's going on here? What's your, what's your instinct telling you? Um, Clark. Instinct is a female. Okay. Um. Like a patient of some sort. Okay. Uh, she likes pink. Mm. Short blonde. Um, she's holding her, her belly a lot. Laura. <gasps> um, it's funny because that was the one reacting from before too. That one went off too. Yeah. Yeah, I just get like patient. Um, oh my god. So is she pregnant? I don't know. She keeps holding her belly and rubbing it, which would <laughs> signify pregnancy, but it could yeah. also be something I like. I can see you all. Like a surgery <laughs> or something gone wrong. Um, maybe like bleeding out of some sort, like internal bleeding. I was religious. Oh, <gasps> both doctors were. And I wouldn't Dr. As you were Perry and Dr. Anderson that. were really. I think that's me. Yeah, that's. Yeah. They were really, really, really religious. That what Zach told me. So, okay. oh my god. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, like Associate. earlier on, I did get Associate. like um a couple women who like one woman who walked woman who walked into here, and then a man followed, and then the man walked out, but the woman didn't come out. <laughs> That's right. Move away from that. Right now. So I'll tell you what I picked up. Because it was it was the devil is real. What? The devil is real. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we know. So I got this feeling, Charles, that like it was a patient that wanted, like that actually didn't have anything wrong with them, but I believe that they were infatuated with a doctor, mm -hmm. and like that's why they were coming here. Like, Mm -hmm. And so for you oh. saying that there was like a woman who was pregnant and what a if patient the and got her pregnant. Right. You're foul. She got it in that way and maybe he was like, no, we can't complete this pregnancy. And I asked, I asked, were you in love with one of the doctors that Rampon and Doorway went nuts? What if it was like one of the other staff? You Could know. have been. The, like, impregnated them? No, no, like, I mean, like, what if it was a doctor that impregnated another woman's staff here? Oh, and then that's, she that's fell. And then he was like, oh, shit, like, that's, I can't be doing this. And then she got pregnant. Yeah. Something happened, and then he, like, coerced her into getting an abortion or something. Right. Mm -hmm. And it went wrong, probably. And then he came out of here, and she didn't. Right. Because back in that time... I'm like, hiding here. Oh. Oh. oh, 
<laughs> we're hiding from what she just said. Is that where you're hiding from? Oh! Are you, are you ashamed? Is that why? In China. <gasps> oh, oh my god! <laughs> injury! Yeah. Okay, so now I just want to piece together. I just have chills. Yeah. And we need to figure out why Chelsea just came upstairs because she was in a meditative state downstairs, right? Okay, like, so let's let's push aside. These people who are communicating. Chels, what did you pick up when you were in that state? I'm getting botched abortion, that's what I'm getting. Um, like downstairs? Yeah, yeah like that's when exactly you, what I'm getting. Right? So when you were underneath in that hurts and Can that, you move away, please? Move away. Can you move away? Thank you. <laughs> Can you please step away from Yeah, me? yeah, she moved, that's why he, the DMF went off. So Chelsea, when you were underneath, when you were in that frequency of that hurts, yes. what came to you down there? Um specifically. Well I couldn't see any of you guys. I could see Eva and I. Um, but I kinda went back into time where they were all downstairs in the tubs. Really? And mm. I was in one of the tubs and it was a communal one in the corner, so it was kinda like an oval vibe it wasn't a full circle it was just like oval went to the wall and then kind of straight at the back so like that mm -hmm. and you could probably fit at least well we love talking you could probably fit at least like two to three maybe four little people Mabel. and little people i mean like my size yeah um and then there would be a sheet that kind of like went tight and it would just leave your head out mm -hmm. and it was like really cold like i could see myself laying on the table like shaking um but then there was about seven other people like around me and I was just watching them and there were some staff who would walk around. Then there were some other individuals in like the big circular tub, like in the middle of the room. No, I didn't. And then I got out of the tub and was trying to walk around, but it was weird because I wasn't myself. Like I didn't look like me, but I felt like me. Right. And then when I got out of the tub, like all seven of them looked at me at the same time and said, you shouldn't be here. You need to leave. What? And like, two seconds later, like we're even really here. here. Yeah, I, so we know I, you're we here. To the other room, <laughs> and I was asking her to show me like where she was laying and stuff, and her tripwire went off. <gasps> yeah. we're, we're not, you know, we know you're it here. Was, we're not being rude. We're just talking to our friend. She did a session downstairs, and we're just right. trying to figure out what what happened. The tripwire that went off was the one that was closest to the uh, the table on, in the other room. So we weren't even near it. Wow. And it just stayed, like, lit up. Yeah, we tried to debunk it and everything, and it just so kept going off. you saw off. several different tubs. I saw different. several different people, some in the tubs, some out of the tubs. But there was, what I could see is at least, like, maybe three tubs. Okay. But then as soon as they saw me see things. them, they were like, you have to leave. So they knew you didn't belong. They did. They like knew the, I was as living. As if they knew, yeah, from a different realm. Yeah, right? they knew I was living. Interesting. That's interesting. So yeah, they, they know that they're in a different place. Mm -hmm. That they're... But it kind of like took me back to like when it was operating. Like mm -hmm. everything downstairs looked not how it is now. Yeah. Like what, when it was... I had a bad past. I had a bad past. Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. When it was an osteopathic. The only Clinic. thing that was still similar to what it is now was the room that Eva and I were in because I could see us clearly and I could mm -hmm. see what she was doing. I could see what I was doing at certain times. Many lives were lost. Hard. Oh, what was that vibration? Uh, no, what was, was that, that vibration? vibration? Thunder. <gasps> Every, everything's attic. like going off. Like attic. One by one. That one. Attic. attic. It's right behind you, Kim. The attic is no, right man. there. It's yeah. Right. right there. Oh. Can you get up there? Yeah. Yeah. Who, who's going up? I'll go up. <laughs> Dude, as soon as he said that, that one went off too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I saw it flicker. That was weird. Look at that. Dude. Hey, the one in the doorway is okay. going off. I don't know that they like you up there. Yeah. I don't think they do. Dude, I haven't seen that one go off at all, and all of a sudden it's going off. Where's it that one? That, that one, and that one is the one that usually goes up nuts. And that one is the new one. That's my old one. And my older one. Yeah. 
This one. <laughs> that's the older one. What is it though? Like, what, what do you feel? Uncle? What if, what if I join you? You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. I can't do that. That was actually really fucked. Oh! Yeah, they, they agree, apparently. You okay? Okay, so what if I want? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Angela! Are you gonna do that? Oh my god. Okay, so I, I don't normally do this, let alone when I'm drunk. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't normally do this, let alone when I'm drunk. Probably that's why you're doing it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's true. I know, I'm kidding. Bro, I'm, I'm kidding. serious, like, like. I'll hold the ladder. <laughs> you're gonna be <laughs> stable, you're gonna be fine. I don't even know what I'm gonna add it. Oh yeah, dude, you're right. Really? It feels weird here. I wonder if it's like something in that corner. I'm gonna try it. Potential. Potential? You're going further? Never. Yeah, if you go all the way out, it's... it's I'm gonna go up with Angela. Okay. Okay. You're wild. No. Hey. At least there's no bullets flying. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Oh my. Oh, dude, this is so beautiful. Man. Look, there's mints. Huh? Look, right there. What the hell? <laughs> Lifesavers. <laughs> what the hell? Whose life are you saving up here? Is there a child here that yeah, likes to have sweets with him? Me too, man. I'm starting like to sweat. Your equipment. I'm starting to sweat. Okay. There's something here. Okay, so, yeah. you have something to tell everyone. I think I'm gonna go back down to it. She's coming. Sorry. Sorry, guys, if the camera goes wiggly a bit, but. It's a uh, <laughs> There's like two lifesaver mints up there in the packet. There's like two lifesaver mints. Yeah. They're right there on the ground with the packs. <laughs> so, what I was going to tell you is the whole time I was standing in front of that door, every time the rep pod would go off, it felt like somebody was taking an elastic band and slapping my clothes with it. What? <gasps> exposed! Wait, it just it. said exposed. Yeah, just like right here. We exposed Ooh. the... Oh, the one that loved the doctor. That's how weird and weird. Get mad at me. Can you repeat that for a second? Yeah, so every time, and I didn't want to interrupt anything because like we were having something really awesome going on with like all the red powder TV and stuff. But like, I don't know if any camera was on me at that point, but like almost every time the REM pod would go off, I felt like somebody was taking a, a rubber band and snapping it like right here on my nose, like a oh. really sharp sting. Oh. So, I don't know, my, my kind of hypothesis is a lot of really bad shit happened That's in this me. area. Mm -hmm. That's not How me, but no. um, my friend Chad was attacked, like basically right there by something. I don't know what it was, but Gage it was something. Is that the friend that had to leave? Yeah, he's he was like, and he and he's not he's not like that at all. He's literally the last person in any haunted building to leave. So for him to be like, bro, we gotta get the f out of here. That's something else. Wow. I don't know. I don't like that. Yeah. You have nightmares. Oh, yeah, kind of. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Which one? This one has nightmares. Silent. Huh? Okay. I will flash the lights. Do it. Do Please. It. By all means. 
If you want to bring my beer upstairs too while you're at it. <laughs> Go ahead, open up the light. Put all your energy into it. Want me to help you? All right, there you go. Put the camera right there. Usually when it does that, it helps them. Okay. You good? I got it. Lock this one up, like that. All right, let's go. Take my energy and open up the flashlight. Come on. Come on. Come on, he's got that French energy. It's like extra espacial. It's shaking. He's definitely shaking. Yeah. What the hell was that? You're pulling. Like a it sounded like it. Come on. Well, that was one of the uh, IR lights or cameras. Oh. My fingers are tingling. Mm -hmm. Come on, take my energy and open up the flash. What the fuck is that? Upstairs. Is that the attic? I don't know. Uh, okay. I just yeah. got that feeling again. You guys all touch my finger. It's cold. Walking up the stairs. We have yeah. spoke before. It was just that one finger. Yeah, my finger. My my finger was was cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we're all in here, he doesn't he's want walking up the stairs. <laughs> that was like a bombas, right? I don't know. Was I it a bombas? It, it kind of sounded like, isn't there like a set of stairs in here? No, that's the that's the chimney. And remember the king chimney in Lunenburg? Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah. You got the same kind of kink. Does it? Yeah, look. Oh my God, so it does. Keep the devil out. Yep. We're not nasty. Good. Good. But I don't think you're telling us the truth. It depends on who you are, I guess. Okay, so if I understand, you were in love with one of. You were in love with one of the doctors, and possibly had an affair with one of the doctors. Was it Dr. Perry or Dr. Anderson? I don't mind, I don't care, it's your life. But we wanna know, was the child one of the doctors? Touch any device. I'm telling the truth. <sighs> well, touch a device if the, the baby was one of the doctors and you wanted an abortion. That's really weird how it gave us that response because you're like calling them out, being like, I yep. don't think you're telling the truth. So, and they're like, I'm telling the truth. You're if right. I'm upsetting, upsetting you, because you don't believe them, if I'm upsetting you, is it because I'm, I'm close to the truth? Is it? Am I, am I getting somewhere? I just want to understand, that's all. Mm -hmm. They might be the downstairs. They're, 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 they're in Tommy's room. Are they upstairs or downstairs? They're in they're Tommy's really, room. They're in one room. Yeah, they're in Tommy's room. They're doing something in but Tommy's that room. That would mean that they're on that side. So why does it sound like the footsteps are on that side? Yeah. yeah. That doesn't make any sense. No. They're in Tommy's room. Is it? Yeah. The, the stairs are back. The you stairs are the right stairs, there. You make a left, it's the room, you make a right, it goes through the seance room to front to the back towards Tommy's room. So they're over here. Okay. Tommy's room is on the other side of the house. We're on the the street side. The side the side street. Matthew. Who is that? That was oh, this camera. camera. Is it? Shut oh up. you have the camera. It's, okay. No, wait. Yeah, shut up. Do I still have uh, energy in my uh, battery? It says no. What? One sec, it does this to mine too, just one sec. There you go. I still have two dots. Is it You're ghost? Good now, it's is it ghost okay, thanks. Is that what it's doing? It's very lonely here. 
I don't believe that. Entirely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have lots of visitors. People come and want to know your story. Someone just walked in front of you, Angela. Yeah. Did you feel it? Uh, weirdly, yeah. Yeah. Something distracted me for like a second. Yeah, they literally just walked like right in front yeah. of you. To the spirit that just came in, can you come and touch one of the devices on the bed, please? Anything. Thank you. Thank you so much. Then again, can you come and touch this one closer to me? Snapping sensation like three times since on my nose. Again? Mm -hmm. When was the last one? Every time the REM hog goes off, the one in the doorway. So, what mm -hmm. does that represent? Like, what could that mean? Like, I have no idea. And where is it on your <laughs> face? Like, right under? Right. Right there. I think we told her she had to protect herself today. Yeah. Did you protect yourself today? Yeah, I put that in stuff. Oh, okay. I wonder if that had something to do with maybe like old treatment. Mm. You know, something to do with like maybe it wasn't like I don't know, I don't know, but I'm getting like an old treatment of some sort. I mean, you were some angel team. hierarchy, which relates to the nose, <sighs> close to the nose. So I think they think you're a doctor here or a well, nurse you were or something. Doctor earlier today, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we did. Wait, this is my, this is this is my last patient. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Poor oh, guy. Oh, yeah. He was coming for a diet. <laughs> he, got a, he got a doctorate, a PhD, and then he died. <laughs> no, oh! <laughs> oh, the red one goes off. Look at that. So you like when you, we laugh. Yeah. Do you think that the uh, doctor is funny? She's the doctor. Do you Dr. remember her? Dr. She uh, did a good inspection today. <laughs> I had a good visit. <laughs> oh, you enjoyed that? Gilbert. 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 A name. Vincent. And no, it's okay, like so, racking names after yeah, names. Yeah. If if you guys are part of there. There. If if you guys are are a part of this asylum or. Sanatorium, or we're a part of the san sanatorium. Let us know. We want to know who is connected. Touch any of these devices. What the there could they mean? There, the graveyard. It could. We've been getting a bunch of names. Are these spirits from the graveyard that comes by and just? That's a good point. And where are you from? There. I think, that, I think that they were just here at one point in time. It's us. Feel. It's us. Yeah. I'm just talking about this, probably the spirits through. from the graveyard. It's us. Who knows? Yeah, it could have, that could have been answering to either my question or yours. Because Zach told me that, that sometimes the spirits from the graveyard come and visit. Mm -hmm. It's the same when I did that courtyard, uh, that courtroom in uh, L'Assomption. In front of the courtroom, it's an old uh, poor graveyard. And sometimes they come through in the building. Are you from the graveyard or you, are you, you pass through the building at one point in time? Are you coming from the graveyard? Can you touch a device if you are from the graveyard? If you come and visit? Thank you. Thank you so much. So you come and visit. Hello. Yeah. What's it said? Him. Him. So you say him. Is it a he that comes visit from the graveyard? Is it a man that comes and visit from the graveyard?
It's really hard to say. I think we need to bring some of those REM pods in here. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one. Are you? Yep. I can grab one. No, I'll go. Camera. Oh, I just got the snapping again. Maybe I shouldn't grab Are the REM pods. Are you serious, right? I'm yeah. just about to say you're not to leave. Yeah. Maybe that's them, like, trying to, like, get me in line. Maybe. Yeah. I think pretty much Thank what I'm you. getting is, like, you really need to tune into your body. Like, so. trust yourself. Mm -hmm. Listen to your body. It won't direct you in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. But you have to fully, totally, like, trust yourself. Whatever a spirit is trying to tell you, they know that you have the ability to do it. You just have to, like, embrace that. Interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. It's kind of like the water boy. <laughs> when he yelled out, you can do it! <laughs> yeah, right, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. That's, what I, that's the energy I have feeling. Yeah. You can do it! It's so strange. Mom. Huh. Mom. And we had mummy earlier. We did, so it, yeah. It said inject. They would have injected people a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, when they finally came up with the... Uh, Tuberculosis vaccine. The vaccine, yeah. Oh, there, there you go. go. They would have injected people in this building. Right. Yeah. So did you got the vaccine for tuber tuberculosis? Sorry, I'm French. <laughs> That's a good tw tongue twister. Thank you. I'll take that. Yeah. yeah. Were you injected for anything else other than That's the tuberculosis vaccine? Did they happen to test on you in here, in this building? Maybe for polio? I know that happened in New York State. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a big secret. Were you one of the patient that the doctors were keeping on the third floor because you weren't one of the worst? Or you were one of the not so sick. You were probably kept on the second or, or the first floor. Hmm. I took my last breath here. Oh my oh, god! No! Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's someone. Okay. That, that was Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Jeez. Okay. Chelsea, we were up here earlier. We <gasps> oh, that's you. in the other room. Oh, the other one. one. Yeah, sitting here. Sitting right there in the chair. But she couldn't see me. Residual? I think so. Make sure you're looking at me. She just walked right by us. You saw her, like, just now? No, earlier on, Eva and I were up here, okay. and she was sitting up there, and she's the one that walked into the doctor's office, and then Matthew, the doctor, like, followed, and then only she came out, and she never came back up. Hmm. Matthew, another name. Yeah. Contact. Yes, we're making contact with you. That's what we want to do. Is there anything that you want us to know specifically? Do you have any warnings for us? Things that you can say that they're not forbidden by any rules that you have up there? Is there rules? Is there stuff that you cannot say about the afterlife? Hmm. Yeah, the heater right there is working, so. Oh! Oh. Can you make that go a little bit stronger, please? It kind of smells like burning hair almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a root. It's kind of like when you hold your hair dryer too close to the Yeah. 
I, I just remember back in the did you have an accident here with a device that possibly injured one of you? I don't know, like the electricity therapy? Probably the electrics went wrong and somebody caught fire? I don't know. Or got her hair or his hair burned? Yeah, the oh. <laughs> Do you want us to put some music? <laughs> Do you want us to put a record on so you can dance? Yeah. What others? Is there other spirits that they are keeping you from talking to us? Is that it? Is there a bad spirit here that keeps us that keeps you from talking? I heard it too. I don't know if the car was driving by. Uh, Are you answering my question? Or you're reacting to what I was about to ask? The first time we heard. Yeah. I'm going to ask. Okay. Wait, wait, little I'm going to. Okay. All this is us. All this. Go away, please. We don't need you. We want to talk to the spirit of this house. Are you still here? Good. It's a spirit that likes me. And he travels through the Ouija boards. Aldous? Aldous. Sometimes he presents himself as Aldous or Alice. He's a cast out angel. Probably he had something with a human once, so and he tried getting him to the green. Uh, I man, he he's, he's been coming through to my friend in the UK, okay. and he's been coming through to me here in Canada, and he's like my friend Jasmine back at Paranormal. He thinks that he reminds she reminds him of, of somebody, okay. and. Yeah need help and he always asked me for help because he doesn't know what he really is he doesn't know if he's still an angel or if he's like a human a man or a woman he doesn't know all this i know you need help but i I'm, I'm not here to help you tonight i want to communicate with the spirits of this house i know you can travel through the portals open to ouija boards and I will communicate with you in another time, but not tonight. And you're proven again my theory that you travel through Ouija boards. So. And also Aldous. Yeah. Just to clarify, it is 2023. You can identify as whatever you want. <laughs> you can be a toaster. You can be a tiger, a lion, whatever you want. Whatever you want. It's up to you. All right. Take your pick. So please be nice to the spirits of this house and help. No, it's Maxis. It's what? Maxis. Maxis? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I, he identifies as a tire, apparently. Healthy. Somebody's getting a flat tire tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, healthy. That was an osteopathic clinic. That was the temperature, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, guys, we did something here. We tried, but oh, man. catch you guys later.